All right, folks, so we are going to talk about one of my favorite things, my prized possession, my ICOM IC705. That's right, I'm a fanboy. Uh, today we're going to talk about power the, for these things. We're going to talk about batteries. Now, many people will do a video and they'll say, when you use this battery, you get 10 watts of power output. When you use the internal battery, you get 5 watts of power output. We're going to dive into that a little bit deeper today, and we're going to really talk about when you buy batteries, what you should look for, and how do you determine if a battery is a good value or not. So stay tuned, and let's go ahead and do that now. PCB Way is hosting its annual Christmas festival for 2021. There is a variety of coupons meeting every budget and project need. You can start your order for as little as $5. Get up to 52% off on 3D printing and CNC machining. Enter the lucky draw contest for your chance to win. Invite your friends by sending a $5 credit. Each purchase will earn you a $10 off coupon. All right, here is the external battery that we're going to use for the sake of this conversation. It is one of the ones that I do use when I'm using an external battery. I have other ones that are a little bit larger, but if I want a lightweight portable option, this is the one that I use. It's from BioNO, and it is the 12, which is for 12 volts, 045. And that 45 means this is 4.5 amp hours. And now when you take a look at this battery, this is the one that was on the back of my radio, and it is from ICOM. It's the BP272. This is 7.4 volts. It is 1,880 amp hours, or milliamp hours, I should say, or 1.88 amps. And then um, it has 14 watt hours. Um, this one is 54 watt hours, and we're going to talk about watt hours and why that's more important than measuring your amp hours. Most people take a look at amp hours and they use that to determine if a battery is a good thing or not. Um, it's part of the equation. It's not the best answer to your equation. So when you look at this one, it's 1880 uh, and then this would be 4,500. And so when you do the math, you say, well, this one's got roughly three times the power of that one, or you get into these, these uh, long winded conversations. What I did is I put together some slides to kind of tell the story and why I urge people to look at your, watt hour as, as opposed to amp hours when making a determination for your battery. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a quick lesson on how to convert uh, watt hours to milliamps or milliamps to watt hours. So first taking a look at watt hours to milliamps, we have a quick formula, which is your watt hours divided by your voltage equals your current. In this case, we're using I as a symbol for current or amps. So when you have 100 watt hours, you divide that by 12 volts. So say you have a 100 watt hour battery, 12 volt battery. You divide that and you get 8.33 amps. So many people will look at that battery and say, oh, it's got 8 amps, 8.3 amps. Um, or they'll even say it is 8,330 milliamps. You get your milliamps by taking your amp rating and multiplying it by 1,000. Makes perfect sense, right? So let's convert our milliamps to watt hours. And the formula for that is current or I times V for voltage, and that gives you your watt hours. So in this example, what we have here is, is that we have our, our current of 8,333 milliamps divided by 1,000 to give us our amp rating. So 8.33, multiply that by 12, and we get 100 watt hours. Makes sense, right? So when we take a look at these two batteries in our example and make a determination as what is best, um, you do have the internal battery, the ICOM BP272. Now keep in mind, this comes with your radio. But I know people who will buy these or they'll buy the extended battery packs and uh, they'll be happy with that. Um, they're 99 bucks. I got this price off of DX Engineering. Maybe DX Engineering is expensive. Maybe they're not. Um, I just did a Google search for the battery, and that was the first one that came back. Uh, so that's why I'm using that cost information. I went to the BioNO's website, and I looked up the 12045W, and that is priced at $64.99. Now, I don't think either of these prices include shipping, so you're going to have to take that into consideration. Uh, we've already covered the the amps or the milliamps for these particular batteries. So we have the 1880, and we have the 4500. 
the watt hour rating on these 14 watt hours uh, for the ICOM and then 54 watt hours for the BioNO. Now, when you look at the BioNO battery, it is a 12 volt battery, and that is why you're able to deliver the higher wattage output on your 705 because you're pushing your current at a higher voltage. Think back to Ohm's law when uh, you took your technician's test. And the BP-272 uh, is a 7.4 volt battery. So it has less ability to push your current. And that's why you can only drive it at 5 watts versus the 10 with the 12 volt battery. So it's important to take a look at the two different batteries. When you take a look at your watt hours, you have 14 and then you have uh, 54 on the BioNO. So that's more than three times the watt hour capacity. Now, I also wanted to do a little bit of a breakdown on your, your math here. So if we want to take a look at our cost per milliamp, uh, with the ICOM, it's, it's 0 0.053 of a dollar. So it's 5.3 cents. Uh, so it's a little over a nickel per milliamp. Um, with the BioNO, you're looking at uh, about a penny and a half. So it's 0 0.14 of a dollar. Um, so roughly four times cheaper. Um, so let's take a look at our watt hours, our price per watt hour. On the ICOM, you're looking at $7 and 14 cents, um, per watt hour. And then on the BioNO, you're looking at a dollar 20. Now let's take a quick look at two batteries that have the same milliamps, but they have a different voltage. Okay. So let's take a look at our watt hour comparison. And this is the real reason I'm doing this video. Uh, what we have here are two example batteries, a 12 volt battery at uh, 10 amps, and then we have a 7.4 volt battery at 10 amps. And many people will look at these two and assume that they have the same capacity because they're used to talking about amps and they're talking about milliamps. So when we use our formula from earlier in the video, we take a look at current times voltage gives us our watt hours. So for the first battery, we have 10 amps times 12 volts, and that is 120 watt hours. In our second battery, we have 7.4 volts times 10 amps, and that gives us 74 watt hours. And you can see that there's actually a significant difference here. That's the point that I wanted to get across. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching.